and on Money Matters, robotechs are the next annoying spam to blow up our phones and... Facebook has a new tool that allows you to see how the company tracks what you do online. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ. With those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters Report. Hey, Good morning, Jane. Bruce and Jen. Good morning. As Facebook introduced this new tool, and it lets people better see and control the information that Facebook gathers about their browsing habits outside the social network. Now, the New York Times says this tool, off Facebook activity, allows users to view the hundreds of sites and apps that share data with Facebook. Uh, they can disconnect from that data from their account if they want to. Uh, many users of Facebook had no idea that Facebook tracked them when they're not on Facebook book, but also, of course, when they visit other sites as well. So that new tool can be found in the settings menu of the Facebook app. Well, Florida's housing market reported more closed sales, more pending sales, and higher prices in July compared to a year ago. Florida Realtors Group says sales of single-family homes statewide totaled over 28,000. That was up 10 percent from July 2018. The average statewide aver average for a home sale was 268,000. A town home price was 188,000. Spam texts make up less than 3 percent of the total number number of text messages that's going to CTIA, a wireless communications industry group, but there are one trillion texts sent by Americans every year, so that means the number of unwanted robo-texts is still pretty substantial. We may see more of these as regulators crack down on robo-calls. Text message spam can do a lot of damage, too. They can be used by phishing for identity thieves. Uh, some wireless plans will charge you per text message. Uh, they can also take a valuable storage space on a phone. And the consumer shift to fresh and frozen produce is resulting in two Del Monte plants shutting down. Plants in Minnesota and Illinois will close at the end of the current vegetable packing season. Del Monte has closed other plants recently due to changes in shopping trends, and some of those have been around since the 1930s. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Bruce and Jim. Next, you're going to tell us that the unemployment rate goes up because the green giant is going to be out of a job. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Yes, we can't have that.